So a lot has happened in the crypto market since we last spoke, and in today's video, I want to go over the top headlines in the crypto market, from what's going on with Cardano, Solana, and Polkadot, to what's going on with whale accounts, and everything else you need to be aware of. So if you enjoy short form, concise, no BS content that doesn't really waste either of our times, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's jump right in, starting off with Bitcoin. When we're looking at Bitcoin's price now, we can see that Bitcoin is approaching a very key resistance level. This blue line right Right here is the 200 day simple moving average and historically whenever bitcoin's price has been able to break above the 200 day moving average this is an extremely bullish sign this is a key um change in the market that we would see right now we have been rejected once already at this level but if we are able to break through we very well could be on our way to seeing new record highs in the market very very soon every time we have broken above this in the past it has led to massive rallies Next thing I want to talk about is going to be what's going on with one key indicator for Bitcoin. It's called the Mayer Multiple, and really it's indicating that right now Bitcoin at around forty-six to even forty-nine thousand dollars per coin is still a great buy. And what it says is that Bitcoin is a nice buy at this level because when you look at this Mayer Multiple, which really is a multiple that helps to indicate how profitable a buy into Bitcoin is at certain prices. And what it shows us, it says determine potential profitable market entry points. It helps to determine, you know, is it a profitable time to get in? Is it not? And according to this indicator, a score below 2.4 um, usually signals a long-term great buy in the market. And what we saw is that Bitcoin's price bottomed out at right around 0.76 in January. But we have officially turned back around. It has reversed. And now we are seeing that Bitcoin is still at 0.98. So if you're looking at this multiple, which has historically indicated the bottom of the market, indicated great time to buy, well, this multiple is at 0.98. And it's well below 2.4, so that indicates this is a great time to still be buying. Even if we are rejected at that 200-day moving average, it still shows us that there's limited downside from where we are right now. Let's talk about a little bit now what's going on with institutional investors, because institutional crypto funds saw total inflows of $193 million last week, which was the highest we had seen in over three months since December 2021. Saw this post on Bellboy, so if you don't follow them already, make sure to follow them. They don't really have a lot of followers, but where I've been doing most of my crypto research as of lately. And according to this report, we see that last week, institutional investors poured $193 million into digital asset investment products. This, this is the highest level we had seen in over three months. And the key thing here is that Solana really stood out on this list. Solana saw the largest single week of inflows it has seen in its entire history, with over $87 million pouring into Solana investment products. And this is a big deal. You can see that Bitcoin had $97.8 million. Not really a surprise. Usually the top one. Ethereum had 10.2, but Solana really led the way with $87.1 million of inflows. Polkadot, Cardano also had, you know, pretty good numbers, around 1 to 2 million of inflows, but Solana really stood out. Right now, AUM, so assets under management for Solana investment products, this is around $241 million. So now it is officially the fifth largest investment product for really institutional investors. Um, and it's the second largest Altcoin, other, there's just behind Ethereum. So there's a couple of new things that came out with Solana over the last week in terms of product offerings for institutions, which could be a big factor here. But either way, this shows us that institutions are back in the market. They're pouring a lot of money in, and this is the, some of the highest we have seen, highest inflows we have seen in over three months. La now let's talk a little bit about what's going on with Cardano, Solana, and Polkadot because ETF provider Wisdom Tree just launched Solana, Cardano, and Polkadot ETPs. These are exchange traded products and think of it like a way where institutions can easily get exposure to crypto through regulated exchanges and even retail investors. So ETPs are just a way to get exposure to the crypto market but on regulated exchanges. And what we could see is that Wisdom Tree announced on Tuesday, March 29th, that they are officially launching three new physically backed ETPs. Um, so Sol W, a 
A-W and dot W. And these ETPs are already listed on major European digital exchanges like uh, a couple of like the Swiss Six Exchange, Swiss Stock Exchange, and a couple others. But now it's expected to be listed on in Amsterdam and in Paris on Thursday, March 31st. 2022. So this is very exciting because this is going to make it easier for institutions to get exposure to different altcoins. You could see, according to the head of Wisdom Tree, head of, head of in Europe, he came out and said that look, while Bitcoin, Ethereum grab headlines, altcoins are now viable options for many institutional investors, providing more options to diversify their crypto holdings, just like they would with any other asset. And that's exactly what these ETPs do: provide easier way for institutions to get exposure. Um, just through regular stock market and through regulated exchanges. Now let's talk a little bit about what's going on with MicroStrategy because MicroStrategy just came out and they said that they are borrowing $205 million um, against their Bitcoin to buy more Bitcoin. And they had, didn't specify exactly if it's going to be used to Bitcoin, but historically they've always said whenever they're going to borrow money, it will be used to buy Bitcoin. And what we're seeing here is that MicroStrategy CEO Michael Saylor came out and basically talked how they are going to continue to buy more Bitcoin at every opportunity they get. So this loan was given to them through Silvergate Exchange Network, the leverage program, which issues dollars, dollar loans using Bitcoin as collateral. So the loan of $205 million was collateralized with $820 million worth of Bitcoin. So MicroStrategy can use this loan to purchase Bitcoin, pay interest, use it for corporate expenses. But the bottom line is, is they are taking more loans out, probably going to see new reports coming out in the coming days that they are buying more Bitcoin. And really, they haven't bought Bitcoin in a while. So now that the market's turning around, now that we're seeing, you know, Bitcoin back above, of $45,000 per coin very comfortably. I'm expecting another big purchase from of Bitcoin from MicroStrategy in the coming days. And last thing I want to talk about is going to be a little bit with regulation because Canadian Prime Minister candidate Pierre came out and said that he supports really legalizing Bitcoin in the country. And there was a whole report the other day that talked about how he supports freedom to use Bitcoin as money, freedom to own crypto, freedom to use crypto, use tokens, smart contracts, anything in DeFi he supports. Because he said that people should have the freedom to choose other money if the government is going to abuse their cash they should have the freedom to use higher quality cash meaning other investments other digital asset products and this is important because earlier this year, the Canadian government really pushed back on crypto. Prime Minister Justin, he came out and said that really he was taking a hardline approach against crypto, really cracked down on everything related to crypto in the company. Canadian uh, officials froze bank accounts of protesters um, back in like February and January. And so now seeing that there's a potential candidate that looks to be very supportive of crypto is a good sign. Do I think this is gonna make a difference? Maybe, maybe not, but ultimately he's probably using this as more of publicity, getting his name out there um, for this candidate. So I don't think it's gonna convert really long-term, but it is exciting to see that people realize the value of crypto, they realize that people want this, and they it's continuing to get more and more prominent in regulators in some big countries, not just in third world countries, not just in smaller countries, countries like Canada, US, you know, all across Europe, it's becoming much, much more important. So anyways, that's what's going on with the crypto market. Those are the main highlights for today, but I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.